Hey there, this is Lucius the Frown Boys from ENG Suite, and today we are going to do one last stop before we start making some excellent functions. Today we have to learn how to convert a string into a double, a number. So let's take a look. So here we are in our developer tab, and we're already in that same module we've been working on, and we have our public function CDBL test. The first thing that we're going to do is we're, I'm just going to show you what happens if you don't convert. So let's say we have two strings. A string that's 10 and a string that's 3. If I save that and then come back into our workbook, if I use that function CDBL test, it's 103, but 10 plus 3 is 13. That's because what it's actually doing is adding these two strings together. It's concatenating them. So 1, 0, plus 3 is 103. But what we want to do is we actually want to convert these into numbers. Because as you'll see in our video tomorrow, we're going to be pulling these numbers out of a string, and we need to turn them into numbers. So we are going to use this function cdbl. You put your number string in there, and then you do the same with this one. And what that's actually doing is converting that string that says 10 into a double precision floating point number. So that's how you're generally going to store something like this in Excel. It's going to be your lowest memory usage when compared to it like a decimal. But we can get into that on a later date. So CDBL. All right, we save that and let's go back into the workbook and rerun our function. And now we get 13. It's that easy. Just four little letters, C, D, B, L, and you put your string inside and it converts it to a number. All right, so now that you know how to do it, what happens if your string is not a number? Because you might run into that sometimes. You get a value error. This string has to be able to convert into a number. So in a future video, this might be a great spot for us to jump in and see some error checking stuff. But for right now, just know, CDBL, inside of your parentheses, throw that string that is a number, and you'll get a number out that you can actually do math with. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.